So grading log, how does that differ from this raw shot when you're in HDR? Let's find out. I'll close my scopes for now, then hop on over to the Media tab, go to Imports, and grab a new clip. Back to the Project Files folder, Footage folder, and this time I'll select the Alexa LF shot. Initially it looks terrible, but that's because it's not a raw shot and there is no automatic interpretation. So with RCM, I need to right mouse button click on that clip, go to Input Color Space, and choose the correct color space for this footage, which is Area Log C. Looks better now, though well, you can see it's still washed out, and you would expect that with a log shot. Add this to the timeline, and we'll start with the early frame. Back to the Color tab. I'll go ahead and add a serial node. I'll put that node into HDR mode. Then I'll retrieve my scopes, and we'll get started. So just like a log shot in, say, Rec. 709, the first task is to get the contrast back. There are different ways to do that. I'll start with one way, which is to shape the curve. Then I'll go to my gamma and my gain. And back to the curve to get a good level of contrast and brightness. I'll also sneak in a little bit more saturation. And now we can take a look at various values. Now remember we left the last project set to a 4,000 nit limit, and that's what we have here. Now it might be tempting to change the nit limit, but you really want to do that early on in the project. If I change it right now, I'm going to have to readjust my grading. Not only for this clip, but the prior one too. So here's 1,000 nits. Not a huge change here. Only the candle flames are up that high. If I jump back to my previous clip, you can see there's a significant difference where I've lost 1,000 to 4,000 nits of information. It's all compressed right here. So for now, I'm not going to change the nit level. Remember to do that early on in the project. We'll stick with 4,000. All right, back to this clip. Now look at a later frame. And here it feels like it still needs some more contrast. Maybe a bit more saturation. And I might try the log controls. I want to make sure not to get her shoulder too bright here. Now here it's more of a challenge because these lamps are definitely bright and they're up at the maximum 4,000 nits in the center. But again, if you look at the HDR monitor, there'll be some variation in those high values. You want to make sure not to tear or damage the image. For example, there's a red halo right here which may posterize or band. So you have to be careful of that. Once again, you'll see the true result in the HDR monitor. But it might be worth tweaking that to make it look a bit better within this view. All right, so there's a basic grade. So you can see the steps are really not that different. Just like a log shot in SDR, you have to really add back the contrast and then go through your regular grading process in terms of color balance and saturation and all that. We're going to move on to the topic of grading HDR and SDR within the same project. I'd like to take a look at this project in its current state. It's saved out as loggrade.drp.